thrift store worker notices one detail in a painting that stops her in her tracks. Visiting a thrift store is like embarking on a treasure hunt. You never really know what you might find. Though gently used shops tend to get a bad rap over the pre-owned nature of their goods, a quick walk up and down the aisles can reveal unique finds that are certainly worth putting up with a few scuffs and scratches for. But for some lucky shoppers, actual treasure may be hiding just within their reach. When one North Carolina thrift store worker began sifting through her stock of paintings, she discovered an unusual piece that seemed out of place even in this collection of curious. She called in an expert who immediately confirmed the startling truth. This painting definitely didn't belong in a thrift store. But the folks down at Hotline Pink Thrift Shop in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina had been none the wiser as a means of income to support the Outer Banks Crisis Intervention and Prevention Center. The shop's primary focus is to raise funds for victims of domestic and sexual abuse. Nonetheless, the workers at Hotline Pink know a thing or two about the goods they're selling. Volunteers from across the Outer Banks turn out each day to work the shop, lending their expertise on everything from vintage clothing to even used cars. Among these regulars is Wendy Hawkins, a local art enthusiast who works the shop two days a week. Not many would expect a thrift store to have an art collection worth fawning over. Hotline Pink, however, isn't your ordinary thrift store. An ever-changing rotation of paintings and canvas artwork is one of the store's main draws, providing Wendy with plenty to sort during her work days. But in January 2020, Wendy came across a piece she knew had no business being at Hotline Pink. It was a wood engraving, though far nicer than the usual woodworks in the shop. Wendy knew the piece was special as soon as she laid eyes on it, though was there any way to really know for sure? After all, the shop had seen plenty of reprints over the years, and amateur forgeries were equally as common. Luckily, Wendy knew someone right down the road in nearby Nag's Head that could help her get to the bottom of this mystery. With Hotline Pink's permission, Wendy brought the engraving to Seaside Art Gallery to get another pair of eyes on the work. There, she met Melanie Smith, the gallery's owner and an accredited art appraiser. Melanie, too, immediately recognized the engraving as unusual and quickly set to work identifying it. By day's end, the piece's true identity had been revealed. The engraving was part of a 100-piece collection commissioned in 1950 by the Italian government depicting cantos from Dante Alighieri's The Divine Comedy. Though these pieces weren't just some amateur's rendition, they were true masterworks. Each of the 100 scenes was painted in watercolors before being carved into hardwood blocks to make prints. With each color of the scene requiring different pieces of wood, it took more than 3,500 blocks to complete all 100 illustrations. But perhaps more impressive was the artist behind this rare collection of works. No, he wasn't some ordinary layman with a paintbrush or a Florentine noble with a mastery of fine art. He wasn't even Italian. The man behind this masterpiece was none other than Salvador Dali, the legendary Spanish surrealist. But why would the Italian government have hired a Spaniard to reinterpret one of Italy's greatest literary works? As it turns out, this decision caused quite a stir. In fact, the people of Italy were so upset over the choice of Dali that the project was scrapped altogether. The Spaniard, however, had already painted the collection and instead took his work to a French publisher for sale. From there, somehow, someway, a piece of the Purgatorio portion of the collection made its way to the hands of Wendy and Hotline Pink. But who donated such rare work in the first place? Unfortunately, it wouldn't be so easy to find out. We get things donated in the middle of the night and sometimes people just drop things off and leave, so we have no idea who donated it," explained Michael Lewis, executive director of the Outer Banks Hotline. Regardless, it was clear that the painting wasn't about to go back into the $10 bin. Instead, the piece went up for auction where it nettled an impressive $1,200 for the Outer Banks Hotline, though other illustrations from Dali's The Divine Comedy series had only sold for a few hundred dollars in the past, there was something about this particular piece that brought its value way up. The Hotline Pink find had been signed by Dali himself, 
While several copies of the 100-piece collection had been reproduced by the artist, only 150 of the illustrations bear the signature of the legendary artist. As for Wendy, she's become somewhat of a legend among Hotline Pink's many customers, especially those in search of the next great treasure. We've just had people coming in saying, what painting do we have today on special? Wendy joked. In Melanie Smith's eyes, however, art lovers are the biggest winners of the Dali discovery. It's rare to find anything like this. It's like a treasure hunt, and thanks to Wendy, it's been rescued and brought to light so people in the art world can really enjoy it. But if a simple thrift store could hide such an incredible find, imagine what treasures could be lying in wait beneath the tables and tents of an entire flea market.